Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. Quick shout out to Holly at Wild Moon Jewelry for my awesome new sunstone earrings. Check her out on Instagram. A lot of great handmade jewelry. I've always been intrigued with songs that are about the seasons, lyrics that are about the seasons. There's something extra deep when you write about something that every person in the world can relate to. I guess some people are a little more extreme than others, depending on where you're at on the globe, but we all, we all get the changing of the seasons. So songs that are about the seasons are just, they've always just been really cool to me. In fact, my favorite lyricist of all time, Alan Marilyn Bergman, write about the seasons fairly often in their songs. Summer me, winter me, and with your kisses morning the summer knows the summer is wise it's fairly easy to find songs about one season we can find songs about the spring Snows the secret of a rose is merely that it knows you must believe in spring. Songs about the summer. Songs about autumn. Songs about winter. Sometimes we find a song that mentions a couple of the seasons, two or three of them, and occasionally we find a song that mentions all four. This was kind of the reason for me doing this video was because I thought of two songs in particular that mention, well, they do more than mention. They explore every single season and they've always been just precious to me, like, so dear that I hardly ever play them or sing them or listen to them because I want them to always, you know what I'm talking about? I always want to like them, so I don't want to overdo them. And I'll get to what those two are at the end of the video. But there are some great other songs that mention the four seasons as well. Let's talk about a few of those. Of course, we all know about the four seasons by Vivaldi. But one thing maybe you didn't know is that a sonnet was written for each different movement, each different section. And you can read those and they're beautiful. They talk about every season as it relates to the music being played.
perhaps not as classic, but every bit as epic was Uncle Iroh in Avatar The Last Airbender, singing about love in the four seasons. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Carol King just let us have them. Just boom, 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 boom. In summer, Same with a few of these. There's some great jazz standards that really wax poetic about the seasons. They don't just mention them, but they talk about how everything feels during them. One is autumn leaves, and whether you realize it or not, autumn leaves just isn't about the autumn. I see your lips, the summer kisses, those sunburnt hands I used to hold. That's a beautiful picture of summer, isn't it? You went away, the days grow long, and soon I'll hear old winter's song. So even though it doesn't particularly mention spring, I really like the way that Autumn Leaves walks you through the season without being so in your face about these are the seasons. I also really like I Love Paris because it paints a picture of what the city's like. Even though I've never been there, whenever I imagine Paris, this is what I think of. I love Paris in the summer when it sizzles. Another great jazz tune that just happens to skip spring is the Summer Wind, made f most famous by Frank Sinatra. The autumn wind and the winter winds, they have come Check out this song that doesn't mention every single season by name, but finds another way to do it. It's gorgeous. It's from the musical Mac and Mabel. Tuesday, Thursday, April, August, Autumn, Winter, Next Year, Some Year. I did a lot of research and actually came up with a whole lot of songs that I won't play for you that, that do mention every one of the seasons. But the two songs that I love absolutely the most walk you through each season in a way that is so beautiful. The first is by Stevie Wonder, and it's called I Never Dreamed You'd Leave in Summer. For some reason, this one goes deep. Well, maybe partly because Stevie Wonder sang it at Michael Jackson's funeral. But also because, I don't know, I've always had this feeling that somehow, because Stevie doesn't have his sight, that somehow he feels the seasons more deeply than the rest of us. There are lyrics like, You said there would be warm love in springtime, but that is when you started to be cold. I like how he refers to love as warm love. And that's a nice way to think about the spring. I've recorded both of these songs, and I'm putting them in a separate video so that you can hear my complete versions, and I will use myself to play you little examples as I talk about these tunes. Summertime, it's supposed to be the happiest time of the year, feel good and everything. So the first line of the song, I never dreamed you'd leave in summer. That just hits you, it's so, um, it's so deep. And not to mention the beautiful chords and melody of this song that complement the lyric to a T. Stevie Wonder actually never mentions winter, but he mentions the cold and being alone and just kind of the darkness that you feel when someone's gone away that I feel like that's the winter time of the song. Even though he doesn't mention it, it comes through as having a winter time. But my quiet nights would be I hope you don't just listen to my recording of this one, but go and listen to Stevie Wonder's. It's gonna, it's gonna hit you hard if you don't know it already. The other song comes from the musical Camelot by Lerner and Lowe. And it's the song, If Ever I Would Leave You. 
If you haven't seen this musical, go ahead, rent the movie. It's it's amazing. It's one of my favorite musicals, and the, the music in it is exquisite, and the plot line will just wreck your heart. But Lancelot and Guinevere spend time together, and you see them spending all of the seasons together and all of their happy times. And when he thinks about leaving her, because he has to, because she isn't his, it pains him to think of how she was in each season. And that, to me, it's just the epitome of good lyric writing. If ever I would leave you, it wouldn't be in summer. If ever I would leave you, it wouldn't be in summer. And then he talks about how she looks in the summertime. Your hair streaked with sunlight Your lips red with flame and The cool thing to me is that it starts with summer and ends with spring because spring should be where the life is and where the hope is. But it's different here. Next we talk about the autumn. This is probably my favorite part of the song. How I'd leave in autumn I never will know I've seen how you sparkle When fall nips the air I know you in autumn And I must be And there's a beautiful bridge that completely changes the whole mood of the song, moves to another key, and talks about the winter time. Or would I leave you running merrily through the snow? Or on a winter's evening when you catch the fire's go? Then he comes around to springtime. And he knows that's when he's most bewitched by her. And he exclaims at the end, he's not going to do it. He's not going to leave her. I'll let you find out the rest for yourself. No, if I'd ever leave you. How could it be in springtime? Knowing how in spring I am. I'm bewitched by you so. These two songs are some of my favorite ever. And I just wanted to talk about them for a second with you and let us all kind of feel something that we all intrinsically know because we're all on this planet moving together, experiencing the seasons as they change. And uh, if you've got other season songs that are your very favorites, put them in the comments. I'd like to know. And I'll see you next time on Amy Nolte Music.